How you doing guys? I've uh, been playing on the Wicked Edge today, like all day, for hours now. And uh, decided to strap up this SNG I've been carrying uh, about the past two weeks or so. Anyways, uh, something I don't really remember seeing. I just want to do a little quick tips. Uh, maybe two different tips here. So the first one would be... Sometimes when you work on your Wicked Edge, you can still see some of those scratches through and whatnot. And truthfully, I haven't been able to get all of them out like a perfect mirror. Um, but, it comes pretty close. But here's one that just come off. I'll do more on this later. Give you a quick little... I'm going to run it through real quick because I don't want to ruin the video. Whoa. Stay tuned for that one. I'm excited about that, but here's the edge. And I am mostly a freehand guy and a freehand Avid kit, uh, but there is a purpose for the Wicked Edge, that's for sure. Perfect V edges that are uh, display or show ready, if you will. And um, anyways, let's get to the tips. So... The one tip I can really give uh, somebody chasing that mirror mirror edge is really work these stones uh, fairly more than you think you should. Um, maybe even go ahead and grab a burr with the coarse and a burr with the fine. And um, this is what I was going to show you next. Also, just as in your Spyderco Sharp Maker or any kind of sharpening stones, Make sure you keep them clean. For me, uh, a lot of people recommend Comet or some sort of abrasive powder, and that does work. But for me, the quickest, easiest, and fastest way for me is to take a continuous surface hone, such as this DMT Dia Sharp Course. This is very well broken. I've had it a long time, uh, but it's a good flattening stone. So I'm not really trying to flatten these because uh, I talked to Clay and he said that this is actually Spyderco's formula on these ceramic uh, stones here for the Wicked Edge. So the easiest way to do it is just to run some water, make sure you keep it real wet, and then just do a few circles on it. And that takes off all that um, metal that's built up on the surface because sometimes these will look like they're shiny. If they're shiny, they're really not cutting as well as it should. You see some of that left over right there. Now you don't have to make sure it's all perfect because if you go too much, you will start grinding your stone down. And you don't want to do that. You're just taking off that glazed surface on top. And the same thing with the fine. Now you'll see that as I was flattening this out from use, these have been used a lot, these stones are not completely flat anymore. Now I could get crazy and grind them all down, um, but I'm not going to do that. But you can see these are not perfectly flat anymore. I'm sure they ship perfectly flat, but after you use them, and this Wicked Edge was not brand new when it came to me, so it's it's got a lot of knives under its belt, and these stones will last a long time. Uh, for me, that hasn't affected my performance. Now I could go back in with some Comet, and then rub here with a scouring pad and comment and probably get most of that out. Um, but as long as you don't see the glaze, a dirty stone, that's okay. I mean, what I mean by dirt, I don't mean glazed surface. Because you'll actually see like shiny metal like stuck to the outside. So as long as it's like a dull gray, for me, it doesn't affect performance of the stone. Um, just thought I'd share that. And then when you're chasing that edge... that I'm not gonna say it's perfect you see it looks really nice but when you're chasing that and you're really trying to get those scratches out the ceramic stones are very important in that process so and then also I use double stick tape so this is my Strider SNG here and I just put double stick tape on that sharpening notch so I don't slip and hit any of the, um, the metal I don't want scratched So that's it. Um, really work your ceramic stones before you go to your strops and whatnot. It really does help. You can remove a lot. 
I love Spyderco's formula. And it's just awesome that Clay got up with the supplier that supplies Spyderco's ceramics and, you know, made this happen for us. So, again, that flattening stone. I highly suggest you grab one of these anyways. Um, DMT die sharp coarse continuous surface it doesn't have to be the big plate I think this is the six by three or maybe two and three quarters something like that so this is not the big monster I think this cost around 30 bucks or so you know just easier way coarse comet cleanser uh, does work or Ajax any of that powdery cleaning media will do that so I just like this it's so much faster and you can keep them clean. When they clean, when they are clean, obviously they cut so much better and help take out some of those um, micro scratches. That's it. Thanks a lot, guys. See ya.